I am back to the place that was closed yesterday, but now it's open. Yeah. <laughs> The main shrine is that way. I really like walking around here because like you're surrounded by green and you still are in the middle of a city if you forget that. It's crazy. <laughs> Dude, check out that tree. It's crazy. So we made it to the shrine. It's like super bright and hot, but so worth it. Look at this. It's so cool. Highly recommend that long walk in the forest to get here. We're now eating at a sushi shop that you can order off of in a menu now. How many? Wiley, you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm hungry too. No, I won't. Yeah, so for every five plates you put in, you could play a game. And one more. Five plates. Let's go. Are we gonna win or lose? Wait, does that mean we lost because he couldn't find a way? <laughs> no. We lost. Anyways, earlier we won one. You, It comes out of that machine up there. And you win. Let's go. It's not gonna work. <laughs> no, it's not gonna work that way. Baseball again. Oh, come on. Break the bat. Break the bat. Break the bat. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We lost. Nah. Total loss. How many plates? 26 plates. 
Last play, let's go. Ta -da. Ooh, it's a card one. Okay. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> you lost again. No, we lose. Dang, a total of 30 plates. 30! On the way to Odaiba. I have no idea why, but there's like so many people lined up outside here. What's going on? Is there someone famous inside? There it is everybody, the reason why I like to go to Adaiba is to see my Gundam to make sure it's safely parked where I left it. <laughs> it's so awesome! There it is! It's my Gundam! Dun, dun, dun. You guys, remember when Goku carried around that little red staff when he was a little kid that extends? Look how far it extends up! <laughs> that guy is taking pictures of a doll in front of the Gundam statue. That's cool, man. Do what you do. I'm at the Gundam base and their display of all the Gundams in order of when it started from Gundam or the origin. All the way in proper timeline. These people won't get it out of my way, so I'm gonna move in front of them. So they have to move at my face now. But anyways, look, it's all there. That's so cool. Sorry, guy. Barbados. In all of his forms. Damn. And then. These are custom made by, I guess, people. The profile pictures are there, so you'll see it. Dang. That looks really cool. That one with like all the words on it. It's crazy. The paint jobs on these are amazing too. So insane. Check out that Barbados. Dude, the black and yellow and red looks so awesome. Then you got your SD Gundams. The full armor. That one is actually a cool paint job on that one. Damn. Dude, that... <laughs> That RX is like super bukkake'd on. It's so crusty and you can't even move it anymore. Still cool though. Being unique and everything compared to everyone else. That's so awesome. And then check out this, it's like based off the costume. Look at that. That's so cool. That's nuts. Says first anniversary. I guess of the original kids? I'm not sure. Dang, but everything on display is like really well put together. The paint job on some of these are insane too. The matte finishes? Damn. That's really awesome. Whoa, check out that chrome one. Metallic. Oh man. The debris is sold out. That's what my friend wanted. All those building parts that are broken off. That is so cool. Cool. 
was based off the um, Bill Divers anime. So you got like the main character, his you know his, his friends and everything. And then here you have the rest of the stores where you can buy pretty much every single kit ever made from Bandai. It's so amazing. And they still showcase other stuff too. It's so cool. It's amaze balls. Still displaying stuff. Oh damn, these gold ones are nuts. That's so cool. What are these? Build divers. Interesting. I've never seen that one yet. I haven't been keeping up with the anime. So cool. I remember these two guys. They fight each other all the time. Guys, check this one out. That one's super amazing right there. Holy crap, look the amount of work that went into that. It's nuts. That's so awesome. And then I like that very guy with the king and mustache. Man, these people, man. I love going here. I love seeing the work that people put into these things. He's got wings. Guys, these are more custom built looking things. Yo, check that out. The pink wing Gundam. Yo, check out that multicolored one. Holy crap. That's so cool. The debris set. Are all of these Barbados? That's nuts. No way. Got Barbados and then like, um, was it? I forgot that one already. The double O? Shit, yeah, don't, don't get mad at me if I'm wrong because I, I really forgot. I just remember Barbados because that's like the recent one I series I've been watching a lot of. These are so cool. Whoa. There's the World Cup Championship for like building stuff. So you got this guy. Man, it's so bright, it's hard to see it. But yeah, this guy. Damn, this Prey Mantis one looks nuts. It's hard to believe these are made out of Gundam parts. And you got this guy over here. the master grade kits I always wanted but didn't want to buy at the same time because it's like too crazy to build all those things but it looks so nice especially when they freaking finish it 
custom paint and everything. Yo. Dude, that one's pretty cool. Look at that. That's nuts. But these two, these two, I really want them. Thunderbolt. Gundam Thunderbolt. Full armor. And the Psycho Zaku. That's so awesome. And look, they recreated the special scene and the scene where they're building the unicorn. The unicorn Gundam on the... Right here, outside. The life-size one. Oh, that one's nuts. That one's so cool. You see little people... Little people building him or repairing him. That's so cool. We got these guys up here. More up there. Dude, but look at that one. Things so badass. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. So cool. Like I said before. You can pretty much find any any Gundam you want here if they're not sold out because I'm seeing like the super old stuff to the super new stuff all in this place. The only thing though is that it's slightly pricier than you would be at other places because they really do charge like the price that's on the box compared to like some places that'll give you discounts. But other than that, they have everything here. Highly recommend it if you're looking for a specific Gundam. Dude, like these guys, I didn't think they'd make them anymore. But the boxes are right here. All of them. Oh my god, that's nuts. That's insane. Look at them. Look at them. You want to talk super old Gundam? Here they are. Super, super old. Look how basic they are. That's nuts. More of the old stuff. Check out how retro the boxes are. That's so crazy. Where like art was actually drawn instead of like, you know, crazy stuff. He's just a solid green piece. That's so crazy. Look at that. These are the perfect grade Gundams, the 1 60th scale. These are the big boys that you can spend a long time building and very, very articulate and detailed depending on which model did you get. But they're so huge and they're so nice. That's crazy. Like that one especially, oh my god. Insane. This is where I was at, the Gundam base, Tokyo. Definitely worth checking out if you ever want to go. Big Gundam signs! I'm back outside to admire the crazy ass Big Gundam. Because he is just too awesome to ignore all the time. I'm going to slowly work my way around so you guys can see everything. Because it's damn awesome. Going all the way around. So cool. So right now I am just sitting 
outside of where the Gundam is, um, trying to take pictures. When it gets darker and more lights are like shine on, shining on it, because I think it'll be cool. So I'm just waiting. And at the same time, I'm just taking a neat little time lapse with my phone because you know the iPhone can do stuff like that. So it'll be cool. I'm just waiting for it to get dark, and it's it is about like maybe five, ten more minutes, and the sun should be set already. And with the buildings blocking away, it should be pretty dark pretty fast. So hopefully, I get some good pictures, and I'll post it after if I do get any. Or even if I fail, I'll just show you why I failed and why my pictures suck. The show's starting, guys. Okay, that was it. That was like the the first simple show. My battery's about to die here, and yeah, that's the the seven o'clock show. But if you wait like till later, later, like it gets really, really good. Why is my face not in focus? Anyways, yeah, um, that's it for now. I'm gonna be heading to another place now because I gotta go. I'm running out of time. So I'll see you later. Bye bye. Like I said before, guys, this is it for Odaiba Unicorn Gundam because I gotta go. There's still places I gotta go to, things I gotta buy, because unfortunately, today is my last day. Tomorrow morning, you check out of the place I'm staying at, and I have like an afternoon in Japan left, and yeah. Once, let me see there. Once I buy my last minute things, tomorrow's checking out, so I have to lug my luggage around, and that's gonna be a hassle, so I'm gonna try to buy my things now so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow and being rushed and worried on time and all that craziness about flying and traveling again. So, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna be like for the videos because it's just last minute shit, last minute stuff that needs to be done. So, yeah, I hope everyone's enjoying my videos so far because. It's been a while since I last made one, right? So hopefully I'll do one again soon. See you later. Oh, also before I leave Odaiba, there was something going on here and I really don't know what's going on, but it's like a lot of people just like sitting 
on tables waiting already? I'm guessing it's come some kind of show. Yeah, everyone's eating food and stuff. I don't know what's gonna go on. It looks neat, but I ain't gonna stay long enough to see what's actually the thing, so... If you know what it is, let me know! Cause I have no idea. By the way, this totally looks like a bad guy escape pod to launch into space or something. Or underground, I don't know. Some crazy evil businessman lives in or owns this building and he's like a, a super villain with crazy amount of money and powers like the opposite of Batman. Good job on you man. Can I join? Also it's such a nice view walking back. The sunset was amazing. Not as nice as Guam though. If you ever go to Guam and see a sunset on Guam, it's 10 times better than everything I've ever seen before. But this is nice too, because it has all the city lights and stuff that Guam doesn't have. Amazing. See you later. So once again, I stopped by Yodabashi Akiba to buy something I wanted that they sold that I can't get back where I'm from. So yeah. I'm gonna now look for something to eat and then head back home. Man, it's so crazy. It's so loud here. But I need to find something to eat and then go back home and then rest and then start this whole leaving Japan thing tomorrow morning. So, wish me luck for that one. See ya. So I decided to eat at that restaurant over there, it's called Yoshinoya and it's actually considered a fast food place here in Japan so like together with McDonald's and Burger King and KFC it's still considered a fast food place to eat and surprisingly not, it's actually more healthier than the other fast food restaurants like McDonald's because you get this nice beef bowl with like onions, really good beef and like a huge bowl of piping hot rice it was super delicious and it's really really cheap and when you do order it, it comes out in like super fast. Just like fast food, it comes out in like three, two minutes if anything. It's crazy. But yeah, that's what I had and it was super delicious.